All right. So there's something the mainstream media is not really telling you. And I don't know why they're not saying anything about this, because I think it's really empowering. Now, it might sound like bad news. And here we go. There's ample scientific literature showing that individuals that are overweight, that have prediabetes and diabetes, have a lot of visceral adiposity. They don't get the same immunological protection from a vaccine compared to individuals that don't have those diseases. Now, what's interesting about this, and I want you to think about this, is the same individuals that are quote unquote, at increased risk because they have the comorbidities. The majority of the hospitalizations and the deaths with everything that's going on occur in individuals that have type 2 diabetes, diabetes, hypertension, obesity, they're overweight, they have asthma, allergies, uh, history of cancer. So we can surmise or bucket or characterize those individuals as having chronic inflammation, dysglycemia, metabolic issues. Well, again, multiple studies have shown that those same individuals that meet that criteria and that the data is clearly showing from Wuhan, from Italy, from New York, well, guess what? Those same individuals, multiple studies have shown that they don't have a sufficient protective immunological response to various vaccines that should elicit immunological memory to protect them from future insults. So I want this to sink in. Okay, multiple studies. And by the way, we did a webinar all about this this past Wednesday. If you want access, free access to the webinar replay, the PDF slides, links are below. I want you to have access to share this information because we need to empower people and remind them that sitting on their couch, fumbling their thumbs, waiting for a vaccine, it may not help them, right? Multiple studies have actually shown that when individuals lose body fat and improve their health, then they are given a vaccine, they mount an efficient adaptive immunological response, I mean they have zero conversion, zero protection, I mean that their antibodies then are increased from the vaccine, which helps their body become more immunologically protected against future insults for the pathogen for which they're trying to get protection of. So I want this to sink in and really hit home because there's so many people who are taking proactive measures. They're wearing face masks, they're wearing gloves, they're washing everything, they're bleaching their countertops, but they're putting garbage into their mouth. They're sitting on the couch watching TV or they're on their phone. They're not exercising. They're scared to go outside because they think they're going to get a virus. But what you need to understand is if your metabolic health is compromised, if you're overweight or obese, your immune system is going to be chronically taxed from that inflammation. And what the science clearly demonstrates, whether it's we're talking about hepatitis B virus, H1N1, talking about seasonal influenza, rhinovirus, many other viruses. When individuals are given vaccines for those viruses, if they're overweight, obese, or diabetic, there's a insufficient immunological response in the post-vaccine window, meaning they don't have the proper seroconversion and post-vaccine rise in antibodies. Now, I know I'm starting to sound repetitive, but I just want to drive this point home, friends. Again, all the science will be linked below in this description so you have access to it. I want you to share this information with people. For whatever reason, the mainstream media is not talking about it. They're positioning the vaccine as the cure-all, and I'm not saying it's going to be a bad thing, but if 73 or plus percent of American adults are overweight or obese and a super majority are pre-diabetic and diabetic, we're caught between a rock and a hard place where the only people that will have herd immunity are the people that are making healthy lifestyle choices. And to me, that, that's not fair. And I'm not, I'm not you know, being condescending to anyone, but I think we all need to step it up. We all need to stop drinking soda pop, going to Krispy Kremes, eating McDonald's, eating junk food, staying up till three in the morning watching Netflix. We all need to double down on our, our healthy lifestyle behaviors so that we can improve the health of our metabolism, which is intimately connected to our immune system. So um, this is a topic that we've been talking a lot about. I would encourage you to watch other videos that get a little technical, but we talk about this idea of immunometabolism. We know that if you have blood sugar issues and obesity and metabolic issues, your immune system is gonna be imbalanced. We know that if you have immunological issues, autoimmunity, allergies, inflammation, your metabolism gets imbalanced and you have insulin resistance and you tend to gain weight. Again. The, the scientific term to characterize the field of study that I'm talking to you about is called immunometabolism. This has been well elucidated by Harvard scientists. I have a book called Belly Fat Effect that summarizes this in the links below. We have a webinar that will explain everything that you need to know about this. This message needs to be shared. We need to talk about it. It's not anti-vaccine. It's not pro-vaccine. 
it's proactive information so that we can make the healthy diet lifestyle choices to improve the, our body's health. So if there is a vaccine, we can mount a sufficient immunological response against the things we're trying to vaccinate for. In the context of everything that's going on, you know exactly what I'm talking to you about. So please make the healthy lifestyle choices. Please share this video with someone so that they understand there's actually science showing that if you eat McDonald's and Krispy Kremes and drink Mountain Dew, good luck getting any protection from a vaccine. Again, the flu shot's been around for how many years? It's only 43% effective. Why? Because many people that are getting the flu shot have a, a shot immune system in the first place. So I don't want to sound doom and gloomy. I want to give you hope. We know that people, when they lose weight and then they get a flu shot, it's much more effective. So please make the healthy lifestyle choices. Start today. Start walking. Start moving. Start doing push-ups. Start doing air squats. Yeah.